Hello, everybody. My name is Cynthia Kane, and I'm a reference and instruction librarian with the Emporia State University Libraries and Archives. In this one, we're going to be covering a program called Zotero, Simplify Your Citations. So what is Zotero? Zotero is a free citation management program, and Zotero will allow you to download citations, references, and also PDFs of articles and sometimes other items into a free Zotero account. You can download Zotero and you can use it with Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Microsoft Edge. Zotero is similar to uh, Google Drive because it's also cloud-based. So you can either use a desktop version of Zotero if you are going to be pretty much on your own laptop or computer, or you can create and you can sign into a free Zotero account online, and then you would have access to your citations and references no matter where you would happen to be. I'm also going to show you a plugin for Zotero that will allow you to integrate your Zotero citations with Microsoft Word, and this makes it very easy to create in-text citations and bibliographies in a variety of citation styles. Zotero supports APA, MLA, the Chicago Manual of Style, and a variety of other discipline-specific citation styles. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go to www.zotero.org, click on the download button. We will select a platform, and as you can see, Zotero supports a, a number of platforms for various computers. We'll download and install Zotero on your computer, and then I'm going to show you how to download a Zotero connector. This is a very important step because the Zotero connector will allow your browser to actually talk and connect with Zotero. So here we are at Zotero.org. We're going to click on the download button. And as I noted, choose the appropriate Zotero version for the operating system that you're running on your laptop or your computer. And then once that is downloaded, you'll probably have to open up your downloads folder and click on Zotero to finish the installation process. It will only take a few seconds. After that's done, go over here and choose the connector for Zotero that matches the browser that you are using. I tend to use Google Chrome, but if we click here, we'll see that we have connectors for the other browsers that Zotero supports. I'm now going to show you a very key part of Zotero. You can see on my desktop, I have a variety of icons, including an icon now that has Z for Zotero, and you should see this on your desktop once the installation process is complete. It is very important when you're getting ready to use Zotero with a database or with uh, any other type of system to have Zotero open. Otherwise, Zotero will not connect. And I'm going to share this again. And once I've opened Zotero from my computer, my screen is going to look a little bit different than yours uh, because I've been using Zotero for some time. Now, as I noted, you can create a free Zotero account once you have installed Zotero. If you're just using your own computer or laptop, you don't necessarily have to create an account because everything's going to be living on your computer. But in this case, I did create a free Zotero account from the Zotero site. And once I've done that, I could go over here to Edit and Preferences. And I'm going to share my screen again with you. And once I open Preferences, there's a place where I could log in to my account. Since I'm already logged in, this says, do you want to unlink your account, which I actually do not want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And while I'm here on this screen, I'm going to scroll back up here. And this is where you could register for a free Zotero account. And then once that's done, 
As this notes, it's a free way of syncing and accessing your library from anywhere. So let's go back to our Zotero library. There are a few things I want to show you on here, then we're going to download some citations. Zotero allows you to do a lot of different things. Now you can see over here, I have something called My Library, which you will also have once you install Zotero. You can create what Zotero calls collections. It's the same concept as folders on your computer. And the great thing about this is that you can create a new collection that could match any type of research project you happen to be doing and then keep your citations organized in that collection or folder. So I'm going to do one that's called Art Therapy and Mandalas. So that's going to be my research project. And I don't have anything in this folder yet because I haven't actually downloaded anything. Now we're going to go back to our browser and I'm going to show you how you can download citations from Zotero. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the library's web page. And the fastest way to do this is to go to www.emporia edu slash library. And I'm going to go to the Discovery Search Catalog first because I want to see if we had, have any books or any items that might deal with art therapy and mandalas. Now I can limit my results to print books or to ebooks. But right now I'm just going to type in art therapy and Mandala. So I'm just doing my research as I would under any other circumstance. And since I didn't limit my search in the Discovery Search Catalog, I'm getting articles as well as books. But that's okay for what we want to do right now because this is going to give me a good opportunity to show you how Zotero works. I'm going to click on this first one. This looks rather interesting. It does have the PDF full text available. Now you're going to notice something up here. There's a little icon that looks like a page. That is telling me that Zotero is connecting to Google Chrome and it's connecting to our Discovery Search Catalog. So if I click on this icon, notice that it's saving it directly to the folder or the collection that I created. And I could go back and I could find maybe one or two others. Now this one is very interesting because this is actually an ebook or an electronic book that maybe talks about the use of mandalas in art therapy. So let's click on this. And again, I have my page here. We're going to save this to Sotero. And let that do its thing. And now I'm going to go back and show you my open Zotero program, and you're going to see something kind of interesting now. Notice that these two items are now in my Zotero library. And if I click on this, this actually pulled in the full text of the article. Now to do that, you might have to go over here to Edit and Preferences, and I'll share this again with you. And you may have to go over to some of these icons to make sure that everything is set up the way that it should be. If you ever have any problems pulling in any full text of articles, don't hesitate to contact me. I will give you my contact information when we finish, and then you'll be good to go. You do want to make sure that under general, all of these boxes are checked so that everything is pulled in including automatically attaching the associated PDFs. We'll click on OK. And now I'm going to go back to my Zotero library. Now there are some other things that I could do here. If I wanted to add some notes, 
to a specific citation, I could add a note that might say something like, remember to check this book for references about mandalas. These are just basically internal notes that you can type to yourself. It's not anything you have to do, but it's a nice feature. And we'll go here. I could add a note to this as well. And if I click here, when I clicked on that icon for the PDF full text, this is now in my Zotero storage, so I don't have to remember where I put this article. This is a really great way of organizing your research. We'll go back over here to our Zotero library. Now, I mentioned that Zotero does support a number of citation styles. And the next thing I want to show you is how I could pull these two items into a bibliography that I could use for a working bibliography. And I could wait until I had all of my citations here as well. I'm going to click on this first one. And you cannot see what I'm doing here, but I am pressing the control button on my keyboard. And I'm going to use that to select both of these. Now I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say that I want to create a bibliography from these items. And you can see now that I'm creating a bibliography. I could choose whichever citation style would be appropriate. And as I mentioned, APA, Chicago, MLA, and other more specific citation styles are supported. We're going to go with APA, the American Psychological Association. I want to output this as a bibliography. I want to save this as something called an RTF or a rich text file. This is a file that is compatible with Microsoft Word or a variety of other word processing programs. And we'll click on OK. And this is asking me where I would want to save this. I'm going to say that I'm going to save this in documents. The Default name is Untitled Bibliography, but let's call this Art, Therapy, and Mandalas. And we'll save that. So now, what I want to do is go into Microsoft Word. And now I'm not in Microsoft Word. One thing you're going to notice up here, do you see that this says Zotero? We're going to come back to that in just a second because this is the plugin that I was telling you about that would integrate my bibliography into Microsoft Word. But let's retrieve our bibliography. Let's go to File and Open. And I have that in Documents. And I need to change this to All Files. I'm going to make sure that you can see this here. And there's my bibliography is the RTF file, Art Therapy and Mandalas. So we'll open this. And again, I'm going to make sure that you can see this. There we are. Now, there's something you're going to notice. Zotero is not going to be intuitive enough to do all of the corrections for correct APA style or MLA. So you do want to be aware of your citation style and what might need to be changed. And the second record is a very good example of this. In the original record, the title 
of the article had these words capitalized, and so that was brought over when I created the bibliography. In order for this to be correct APA style, I'm going to have to go through here and correct. I won't do all of these, but I'm going to have to make those words into lowercase for that to be correct APA style. However, one of the advantages of doing this with Zotero is that it automatically put these in alphabetical order. So there are some great advantages with being able to do this through Zotero. The last thing I want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and start with the blank screen. I'm going to click on Zotero up here, and I'm going to add a citation. I'm going to make sure you can see that screen again. When I clicked on Zotero, it's asking me what document preferences I would want. So now I'm writing a paper, and I'm going to say that I want my citations, again, to be in APA style. So we'll click on OK. And we'll go back to Microsoft Word. Now what I'm going to do here is start typing just a sentence. Art therapy and mandalas are useful therapeutic techniques. So I'm writing my paper here. I'm going to go over here now to add edit citation. And I'm just going to start typing in part of the title of an article or part of the title of a book. Now this was one that I downloaded. Art Therapy, Programs, Uses, and Benefits. And if I press Enter, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do Add Edit Citation again. I'm going to type in Art Therapy. There we are. That didn't exactly cooperate the first time, but then it did. So now I could start typing in Art Therapy and Mandalas are useful therapeutic techniques. And then put a period at the end. So I have imported that citation. And now I could add my bibliography. I can move this down to the bottom of my page, but when I added that bibliography, it recognized the fact that I had already used Buchanan, and so it added that as a bibliography or a references list. Now, this is not anything you have to do, but it's a really nice way of being able to create and integrate Zotero with Microsoft Word. I'm going to stop my share here, and we're going to go back to screen two. You can also import YouTube videos. You can import things from Amazon as well, which is really nice to be able to do. So for example, if I were to go to Amazon.com, and if I were searching for a book on art therapy, there's some coloring books.
So this one might look rather interesting. And I might want to save that to my Zotero library so I have that as a reference. Now this looks like a little book. And I'm saving that reference again to Zotero. So I'm good to go. So those are some great advantages to being able to use Zotero. If we go back over here to www.zotero.org, and we'll go to download again. I'm going to do a search for Microsoft Word. Then I clicked on documentation. And this is where I can go to our plugins for different things to do with Zotero. And if I scroll down, here are the Zotero word processor plugins that will work with Microsoft Word. LibRev Office, but they will also work with Google Docs so that you can download from here. So go to documentation and then scroll down to word processor and writing integration. So I hope that this has helped you get started with Zotero. Remember that you can always contact me at ckane one at emporia.edu. If you had any questions, ckane1 at emporia.edu. We'd be happy to help you get started with Zotero. And finally, let us know what you thought about this workshop. 